Here we have the frame with the two straps clicked in place and the splice plate in the center section. And at this point, we can take the other half of the frame, which has the splice plate also clicked in place. And this will then cover on top And here's a close-up of the top. In step two, we need to drill all of these holes, which are currently size 40, to their final size on the outside and the inside. We want to make sure we have Clecos bracketing each hole that we drill to make sure that strap is held nice and tight to the flanges as we drill all the way around. In step three, after we disassemble the entire structure after drilling out to size 30, we then want to, of course, deburr all the parts, but then we need to countersink all of the outer flange of both frames. And so we're going to set up our machine countersink tool because these will end up being flush rivets because our canopy will be sitting on top of here. I prepared and adjusted my countersink cage for the proper depth so I can go ahead now and countersink the rest of these. In step two, we're going to attach the side skin to the fuselage. Alignment is easy and intuitive and we're simply going to clico the skin in place against the underlying structure. Only the top longeron does not have holes at this time but we can load up the other holes with clicos. Step 9 we have dimpled the panel attach strips on both flanges and on the one flange we have riveted on the appropriate nut plates. And we have two of these so we need to repeat again for the other side. And then we can now install these. I will clico and then rivet in place If you have trouble getting your squeezer into proper position to do those rivets, note what I've done here. I've added washers and it allows me to get underneath that flange and rivet just like this direction and I can set each rivet. Now we did not remove our stabilator and rudder which made the tail cone assembly a bit heavier so we needed an additional two people at the back end which you can't see lifting the rear up. Now I'm on my back and we need to join the bottom skins first and clico them together and that will then allow us to tilt the cone up and catch the sides most important thing to do is to understand how the skins overlap and that will make it a lot easier when joining them up and will make the process go a lot smoother.